The Display All Selection Arrows button in the wireframe chaining and solid chaining dialog boxes have replaced the Unselect All button. The new function is available only when you have created multiple chains. Clicking this function displays all chain selection arrows. Full loops display only one chain direction arrow. Partial loops display both the start and end arrows. When selection arrows display, you can edit chains without leaving the chaining dialog box. Select the start or end arrow in the graphics window to activate a particular chain. Click an active chain to enable the start end controls in the wireframe chaining and solid chaining dialog boxes. After creating multiple chains, select display all selection arrows to display all chain selection arrows. Then select reverse to switch the direction of all active chains. Select a chain in the graphics window and select reverse to switch the direction of the one chain you selected or select dynamic to position the start or end of the chain at the location you choose in the graphics window. Use the branches button to guide the path of a chain that you select. Use display all selection arrows in conjunction with unselect to clear the selection of all active chains. Select one of the active chains and then unselect to clear the selection of only that chain. This is helpful when you use window selection or another selection method to create multiple chains and need to remove one or more of them from the selection. The last used settings for wireframe chaining and solid chaining dialog boxes now persist across Mastercam sessions. You no longer set the default chaining modes in the system configuration dialog box. The default chaining mode parameters have been removed from the chaining page. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam 2021, When selecting chains in translucent mode, Mastercam displays a loop associated with the face even if the face is on the back side of the part. The new C-plane mode has replaced the face mode in the solid chaining dialog box. The functionality varies depending on the chaining method you use with the C-plane mode selected. When you select C-Plane and use the Edges method of chaining, only edges parallel to the active C-Plane are chainable. When you select C-Plane and use the Loop method of chaining, only loops parallel to the C-Plane are chainable. When you select C-Plane and use the Face method of chaining, only faces parallel to the active C-Plane are chainable. When enhanced selection like double-click or triple-click is used, then all faces at the same Z-depth as the selected face are chained. The dynamic start point option that is available for wireframe chaining is now available for solid chaining. Dynamic start point allows you to specify a new start point of a chain without first creating wireframe geometry. Dynamic start point maintains associativity with the solid. The solid chaining modes Open Edges and Shared Edges were added to Mastercam 2020. In Mastercam 2021, these modes have been enhanced and renamed to Outer Open Edges and Outer Shared Edges. When in Outer Open Edges mode, select a solid face to chain the open edges of the face in a clockwise direction. When in Outer Shared Edges mode, select a solid face to chain the outer shared edges of the face in a counterclockwise direction. Additional selection methods are now available when using loop mode. Shift-click to select tangent faces. Alt-click to vector select. Control-click to select matching fillets and holes. Window select to select multiple faces. Control-shift-click to select similar faces. Double-click to select a feature. Control-shift-double-click to select similar features. Triple-click to select the solid body.
The solid chaining workflow has been enhanced when using the loop or partial loop methods. Mastercam no longer presents the pick a reference face dialog that allows you to cycle through the possible reference faces to choose the correct face to chain. In Mastercam 2021, you hover over the geometry until the correct loop displays. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam 2000《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》
Any subsequent stock model operations are incremented from that value. Additionally, the 5-axis TIFF-ONLY checkbox has been renamed MIL FLUTES ONLY. When selected, MIL FLUTES ONLY uses just the fluted portion of the tool to compute against the stock model. In Mastercam 2021, you can right-click a large prompt window and choose Auto-Hide to minimize the prompt to a single line. This helps when a large prompt window obscures areas of the graphics window. A small down arrow indicates that the prompt is minimized. Hover over the prompt to briefly expand it to full size, or right-click and deselect Auto-Hide to show the full prompt. To improve performance, you now have the option to ignore hidden entities in CATIA v5, Pro e Creo, and Unigraphics NX files when importing these files into Mastercam. You can now independently control the color and or level of transformed entities. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam 2021, be sure to visit what's new. Mastercam Simulator now properly displays the selected Rapid Motion option located on the linear lathe page in the Control Definition dialog box when simulating a lathe machine. During simulation, the move list now properly identifies multi-axis toolpaths. If initial view is set to optimized in the simulation options dialog box when simulating a mill turn toolpath, it now displays correctly in Mastercam Simulator. In the simulator options dialog box, you can now select meshes in addition to solids and surfaces to use as fixtures or stock. Additionally, the new Restore Settings button resets settings in the tab to their default values. For more information on enhancements to master In previous versions of Mastercam, the Analyze function limited the display of a measurement up to the precision you set in the System Configuration dialog box or in the Analyze dialog box itself. In Mastercam 2021, you can now hover over a value in the Analyze dialog box and see the actual value without having to change the precision. To see a measurement's full value, select the new Display Full Value Tooltip option in the Analyze page. When selected, Analyze displays the full value of each number in a tooltip when you hover over the field, even if it's greater than the display precision in that field. The checkbox is selected by default. When deselected, you must change the display precision to see the full value. The functionality of the standalone autosave backup dialog box has been merged with the autosave backup page of the System Configuration dialog box. This provides a single location to configure the autosave options. On-screen control settings for Nomen, Plain Nomen, Arrow, Polar Arrow, and Tangent Arrow are now located under the On-screen controls page. You can access these settings by right-clicking on the on-screen control in the graphics window or by clicking File System Configuration. Some parameter names and controls have been updated to maintain consistency across pages. You can now set the default machine for Mastercam Simulator in simulation mode. You can change the default machine on the simulator page. The option Planes Work Offset Warning has been moved from Mastercam Advanced Configuration to the Toolpaths page and broken out into three separate options. Update the plane and all operations that use the plane, 
Create a copy of the plane and update just the changed operation. Update just the changed operation without changing the plane. The new Suppress Planes Work Offset Warning option disables the warning message that displays when a work offset value has been changed. The option is off by default. Two toolpath surface selection options have been renamed to match the options on the model geometry page for the 3D high-speed toolpaths. Drive is now named Machining and Check is now named Avoidance. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam 2021, be sure to visit Mastercam 2021 now includes an option for you to save all the currently visible entities and toolpaths in your part as a 3D PDF. A 3D PDF is a dynamic PDF file that displays an embedded 3D model. Anyone with a 3D PDF enabled viewer, such as Adobe Acrobat Reader, can view and interact with the part in this format. Mastercam preserves important part data such as planes, entities, levels, dimensions, and toolpath operations. When viewing the 3D PDF, you can control the display of this data by selecting or deselecting items in the PDF Viewer's Model Tree panel. In addition to the standard PDF controls, you can use the mouse or Adobe's 3D toolbar functions to interact with the embedded model. To save a file as a 3D PDF, Choose 3D PDF Files from the Save As Type drop-down menu. Select Options to open the 3D PDF Parameters dialog box. Select Open PDF File After Saving to open the PDF after saving the file. You can also set this option as the default on the Converters page of the System Configuration dialog box. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam 2021, 